many reasons. One, because he doesn't solve any problem. Two, because it's like a father who has two children and one killed the other, and so the father says, I'll kill the second one. I don't think it makes sense in any human community. Three, because you can reverse it if you realize that a mistake has been made. Four, because it's torturous. And five, because in Ghana we even don't apply it. So why do you have a law that you don't apply? That is the problem. So there are thousand and one reasons. We understand that people have emotional commitment to this issue. Say somebody killed, somebody has done this. But the fact of the matter is that it is not always that we have the case that somebody has killed and so the person should be killed. In a civilized society, we don't operate with a tooth for a tooth, an eye for an eye principle, no. That is dead and gone. That is stone age ideology. And you see, when you have death penalty, what it does is it makes our laws enforcement very lazy. It makes them lazy because we all reside in the, in the thought that don't worry, if somebody kills you, somebody harms you, somebody attacks you, we will kill the person. But I think what we want to do is to live in a society where we know in the first place that nobody will come and kill us. So the death penalty is actually a deficiency. And finally, i like to make an important point. Like somebody said, if in Ghana there is a law, if I try to commit suicide, I will be arrested and put into prison. So if I don't want to, if I really want to commit suicide, I just have to come and kill somebody at Ghana Web, and then I can be killed, you know. So it's actually an incentive to crime, an incentive to, for people to attack others and kill them, you know. So it is important that we, as a society, we discuss these issues in that context. Alternative punishment says, is in fact, the, the best punishment for somebody who has done such a thing is for the person to be put to life imprisonment. And life imprisonment, people who are on life imprisonment have a lot to do. They can work for the state, they can, the state can use their energies, their knowledge, their wisdom that they have. Um, then we can also give long sentences and then we can use people in many different ways. But if somebody is put on death row, it's not a solution. The solution is to put the person in on uh, maybe life imprisonment. And I think that is far better than having a uh, death penalty. The law is there, it's not being practiced, and that is what you don't understand. Assuming that Nanado begins to sign for people to be killed now, I mean, Ghanaians would describe him as the most barbaric president in all time. And those who live in the 70s and the 80s, you know, the death penalty can easily be used to crush political opposition. So if you are, we get a president one day who really, really wants to be serious about crashing opposition, just find false excuses and then begin to imprison people, kill some of them, and then you kill political opposition. So it's actually an incentive to crime, and we think that that is very bad enough. It should be abolished. Many different strategies exist, working with the media, working with uh, parliament, working with state agencies such as SRAG, working with the political leadership, the Ministry of Interior, uh, prison service, because if you have to execute people, it's the prisoners who have, prison officers who have to do that. It constitutes a lot of emotional torture to them. So if uh, we work with the churches, we work with traditional authority, we work with schools, and we work with the political parties, and everybody is talking for abolition, I think this should be, be possible. The problem is that, there are, that we have leadership that needs to be connected to this who are not yet connecting to it. Imagine you have a situation where President Akufuado is saying, I want death penalty to be abolished. All his ministers are saying, I want death penalty to be abolished. All the media houses in Ghana are saying, we want death penalty to be abolished. The churches are saying it. The chiefs in the communities are saying it. The imams are saying it. Because I don't believe that any religion in Ghana says that people should be killed. No. That, we, can, we can abolish death penalty tomorrow if all these people buy into this idea.